Hey you guys, welcome to a new episode of Food and a Single Guy with me, your very own Amaru. Now on this episode of Food and a Single Guy, you guys, I am going to be baking. Yes, you heard correctly, I said baking. Now if you follow my channel, you will know that I'm not into sweets. I don't like cakes, I don't like desserts, I don't like pudding, none of that. But on this video, I'm going to show you how we, in my country, make bread pudding. Which, by the way, happens to be a family favorite. Now, I realize that there are a lot of different variations to this recipe. But like I said, I'm going to show you how we make it in my country. Now, before we get to the good part, I want to remind you that, as per me, I am going to put all the ingredients and the measurements, yes, I'm going to be measuring today, in the video description box below this video for your convenience. All right? Now, let's get started. Because the first thing you'll need to do, you'll need to remove the crust from the sliced bread, then soak the bread in the milk. And you may do this in the morning to allow the bread to be soaked thoroughly. Next, squeeze the slices of bread together with your hands, like so, to make a smooth batter, so to speak. The batter shouldn't be too smooth, mind you. Now add about a half a teaspoon of salt to the batter and mix well. After that, add one can of sweet condensed milk and about 250 ml of coffee creamer to the batter and mix well. Next, you will beat four eggs with six heaped tablespoons of dark muscovado sugar. Add about a teaspoon of vanilla extract and about a teaspoon of almond extract and mix well. Now you may add the vanilla and the almond extract to the batter if you so desire. It doesn't make any difference whether you add it to the batter first or to the eggs and the sugar mixture. It's all up to you. You will now add the smooth egg and sugar mixture to the batter and simply fold it into the batter like so. Next you will add the rum soaked raisins. Add half a teaspoon of cinnamon and give it a good stir. When the batter is mixed and it looks as beautiful as this right here, you pour four tablespoons of melted butter over it like so. Now preheat the oven for about 15 minutes at 180 degrees C or 350 degrees Fahrenheit. And before placing the dish in the oven, pour the remaining amount of melted butter over the batter. Also, put a thin slice of butter in the middle of the batter, like so, and bake in the oven for about an hour. Now generally speaking, the bread pudding should be done within an hour and you can use a toothpick to see if it's done. If the toothpick comes back clear, you're all set. If not, allow to cook for another 10 to 15 minutes. When the bread pudding is done, you take it out of the oven and you allow to cool for about half an hour. Then you sprinkle a thin layer of these sugar sprinkles and possibly some mint, like so. Although back home we don't use mint, this is my own creativity. Allow to cool completely, then refrigerate for at least one hour before serving. Now in my country, we don't serve this with any cream or any sauce or whatever, but feel free to do so if you so desire. If you do decide to try my recipe, let me know how it turned out, alright? Because I want to know. In the meantime, happy cooking, happy baking, happy eating, and I'll see you next time. Thank you for watching and have a wonderful, wonderful Mother's Day. See you later.